how to create a vector pattern design in Affinity Designer. What you need to do is use symbols. I have this basic symbol design. It can be combined in all kinds of ways. Simply build up blocks of squares of this pattern tile and it's a symbol. With this symbol, and you can just simply go here to this is a symbol as well, hold down the alter option key and drag and click it in place. And you can repeat that multiple times. The key panel, layers. So if you go to layers, you can see you've got here group and you've got symbols. The key thing to modify all times in this rectangles or any other shape that's inside the symbol. Don't change a symbol. If you move the symbol, you're going to ruin the tile design. What you need to do is modify like the rectangles or circles and you can add things into this. So simply if I go here, I can resize that. And as I do that, you can see what happens. It changes in all the other tiles. Also, I can select, say, another rectangle. So simply change a color and make it green. And then you can rotate it. So just go here and rotate the design and all the tiles will also change. So how to create this tile in the first place? Now you can use any shape to create your design, but I'm gonna go with a rectangle. Just makes it easier for demonstration purposes. And I want it to show it at an angle because then you can see the reason why I'm flipping the, or transforming the design. So I'm just gonna use this and I'm just gonna rotate it. I'm gonna hold down the alter option key and drag. And I'm gonna create a couple of them. So something like that. That's gonna be the core design. Now I'm gonna change the color as well. So I just click here and you can see now I've got orange. Just again, makes it a bit easier to see it. And this design, I can now turn into a symbol. Simply just go over here and add a symbol. That will add them all in separate. What you need to do is right click and go down here to group. So make certain you group them before you turn them into a symbol. Then go over here to the symbols panel, find that in the window menu and symbols or studio and view if you're using version one. So click create and you can see now you've got your symbol exactly the same as before. Well now you don't have to do any more. So you move that out of the way and I can now duplicate this. So I'm just gonna hold down the alter option key, that's on the keyboard, and drag. And as you do that, you can see you go there and it will snap. You need view and snap in to be on. So set that to be on. And then you can repeat this. You can go option there or alt again. And you can again snap it there. And you can repeat that for this corner. And that's it. But what you can do, you can flip them so it's they go inwards. So I'm just gonna go this one. So that one, go here, layer and transform and flip horizontal. And I can do the same here. So again, layer, transform and flip horizontal. So they're now going inwards. But this bottom one, I want to flip vertically. So make certain you select it. Now it's slightly misaligned. So let's just line that bit better. That's right, that one. And you can then select both those. And again, layer and this time transform and flip vertical. So now you've got that. You don't have to turn into a symbol. You can if you want to, but personally, I find it just as easy just to right click and just again go to group. So it groups it, all a nice group, which you can then use as the tile. That's the source tile for everything. So hold down the ultra option key and drag. Now you don't have to have them, of course, like that. You can snap them like that. Hold down the ultra option key, snap there. And again, you can build this up to create all kinds of complex pattern designs. And of course you can do various other flipping or various other resizing. You don't have to have them like this. You can always resize this one or rotate it. it doesn't particularly matter, but it's still a pattern design which can be modified. So again, hold down the alter option key and you can see you've got this design. But what you can do, exactly the same as before with that other design, simply expand out here. You've got group, you've got symbol. And the key thing is to change is the rectangle or any other shape. You can always add other shapes. You can always think, oh, you know what? I forgot. One is circle there. So you can just add a circle. And as you add that circle, you see it adds everywhere else. You can add another one. Now it's all relative to that group. So you make certain you always know which group you're actually adding to. And again, you can go to this one, this rectangle, and you can see it there. And I can go to the move tool and I can resize that. So I just resize that. And as I do that, you can see what happens. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.